Hello, I am Kim and I'm a part of the Dynamics 365 Business Central Essentials team here at Encore Business Solutions. In today's video, we will be reviewing the process of how to use recurring general journals. Recurring general journals are used to post regular transactions with little to no changes. For example, rent, subscriptions, utilities. This feature is great for allocating amounts or percentages to different GL accounts or posting accruals. The benefit to this is to enter the details once and easily post transactions to minimize entry mistakes and maintain consistency going forward. To access recurring general journals, I have added it to my bookmarks, but you can alternatively search for it or open general journals, navigate, and recurring general journal. I the ellipses. You can see the different batches that I have. I have one for monthly and I have one for accruals. I'll start with the monthly batch and provide an example and a fixed example. Now there are a few recurring methods. You can choose fix, which will allow the amount to remain after posting. Variable, which the amount will change to zero dollars after posting. And the balance. That option is great for basing allocations to specified accounts and amounts. And then you have the reversing options. The same applies for the fixed variable and balance. The difference with these is there will be a reversing entry entered on the next day in Business Central. So for this example, we'll use fixed. The recurring frequency. This indicates how often the transactions are to occur. You can input days, weeks, months, or even years. For today's example, we're doing 1M for monthly. Posting date will be the first of the month. You can select a document type. For today's example, this will be blank. You will enter your document number. And then indicate the GL account. I will start by entering rent expense. The description auto fills out for you and indicate the amount that you would like to record for the transaction. There are two options to balancing this line. The first option is going to allocate an amounts, selecting the account number that you would like to balance to. And indicating the allocation here. This is where you would split the cost if you want to split it to multiple accounts. The other option to balancing this will be creating another line. Enter the same criteria. And the GL account will be the balancing account. And here you would indicate. The negative 2100. We can preview the posting to see how this entry is affecting our general ledger. So we're debiting our rent expense and crediting our prepaid rent. So for the fixed example, once I go to post this, you'll see that the amounts remain, the GL accounts remain, and the posting date is changed to the next month, first day. For our accruals batch, we will be using the reversing variable method. The recurring fre frequency that I have inputted is the formula for the last day of the month, regardless of how many days are in the month. The posting date I will change to the end of the month so that the reversing entry will reverse on May 1st. Document I will enter salary test. And for my GL account, I will start by inputting my salaries account. You'll see the description populates, and then I will enter the amount of 1200. Again, in this example, you can balance on the account number. I will use my accrued salaries. 
and here the allocation will be 100%. and this line is balanced. Now, when I preview my posting, there should be four entries. Two to record the initial entry in April, and then the reversal on May 1st. Now, since I've selected variable, the amounts will resort to zero after posting. There we are and the posting date has amended to May 31st. Please contact us if you have any questions or any concerns. Thank you for tuning in.